Matt, thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Um, now, I understand that obviously you're a, a real advocate of EV vehicles and it, your ION is your day-to-day -day way of commuting to work and back. It's my daily car. The, my, the only car in my household is the Peugeot ION. So um, I've been driving one for nearly three years. Mm -hmm. um, I've done 28,000 miles in one. And um, yeah, so for my day-to-day -day needs, my commute, most of my local running around, it, it does everything I need it to do. And there has been sort of talk of range anxiety, um, and that's why people have perhaps shied away from switching to an EV type yeah. vehicle. Um, so is that something that you considered yourself? Um, it did. I mean, I, I thought about how I was using a car originally, and I was realising that my commute distance and sort of most of my journeys would, would work with an EV. Um, it's important to know that there are charging points around. I mean, every motorway services um, by the end of 2014 is going to have a rapid charging point. Some of them already have more than one. Um, and then a lot of supermarket car parks have got, have got slower charging. It depends in the country where you are as to sort of what infrastructure is around you. But I think it's also important to realise that whilst it's important to know it's there, 90-95% of your charging would normally happen at home. I've also got a charging point at the office which I can use to, just, just to top up the car as well. So for the vast majority of the driving that's just sort of normal charging at home. But it's nice to know that there is rapid charging out there and I do occasionally use one of these 30 minute top up chargers as well. Yeah, and from the point of view of charging and costs, you know, the cost side of things, does it cost more to purchase, more to run than the conventional car that they're already running? Electric cars and vans, generally, when you look at the list price, the price is higher than a comparable conventional vehicle. Um, but you do have to look at what that car is going to cost you or van is going to cost you overall over its life. I um, mean, my um, Ion is costing me about 2p a mile, so my 1,000 miles a month is 20 quid in overnight electricity. So it's almost the least significant cost in, in the car. Um, and the, the car's just had its third birthday. It's its first MOT. And it's had, in its lifetime, it's had two front tires, a wiper blade, and two pollen filters. So it really is not an expensive car to keep on the road. Lovely. Matt, thank you very okay. much indeed. Brilliant, great stuff.